Okay, so I know a lot of you have been waiting for this update video. Sorry it took me so long. I have my two Outrunner brushless motors. I have two Vesks right there. Let's see, the lights are on, ready to go. And I've got my battery packs, just makeshift right now because I just got it back together. But uh, I was out running it and I had set it conservatively, each Vesk, on 40 amps max and 80 amps total and the bike was totally anemic uh, compared to my old setup where I had two brushed 750 watt DC motors uh, and I had the golf cart speed controller I have about 60 volts right here and I was dumping 150 amps and that thing was a beast uh, it was a throttle machine or a wheelie machine you just throttle it and you had to climb up on the front of the seat to keep from it pulling a wheelie but with these two speed controllers at 40 amps each it was a dog um, it got up to a top speed of 30 miles an hour and I have not been able to best that as of yet but my batteries are at 3.5 volts a cell so they're a little bit discharged I need to charge them up to about 4 volts a cell get a little more volts and I'll get a little more speed um, oh so I'm using a standard 0 to 5 volt speed controller and I'm using the PPM here on the speed controller because I tried using the the throttle the 0 to 5 volt that hooks up over here on the vesks but I could never get it to work and I ended up somehow blowing up one of the vesks and bricked it out I don't know what I did but a buddy of mine at work knows how to do Arduino work and he programmed in 0 to 5 volts in PPM out uh, you know, one, 100 mill, milliseconds to 200 milliseconds, just like the servos. I need to print a box for that. Haven't done it yet, but I am in the process of just testing this out because I just got it going uh, tonight, and it's 10 o'clock at night, so I'm just out running around a little bit. But I did up the amperage on the two Vesks to 75 amps each, and it is better, but it's not as good as the two. 750 watt DC motors with the 150 amp speed controller um, and the reason I switched to these motors was because those motors the DC motors the brushes just went out on them before when the motors were DC motors were new I could run it for a good time you know 30 40 minutes riding it decently hard uh, you know little bits of hard spurts and then just cruising around and the motors would get warm but after I had run it like that for a while, the brushes, I'm sure, were just done. And if I just went out and cruised, the motors got super hot. So I know I destroyed the motors, and I knew I was going to, but it was fun. It was worth it. Um, but, yeah, I'll update more. I'm going to play around with the speed controllers a little bit more, see what I can do to get improve the performance. What little bit I've been doing right now, the speed controllers are absolutely zero temperature on them. Uh, this is probably 60 degrees Fahrenheit right now. It's a little bit chilly here. I mean, it's 60 degrees outside. The speed controllers are not warm at all. And this motor, oddly enough, the top motor is slightly, slightly warm. The bottom motor has no temperature on it. It's uh, room temperature. And then I've got it to where I might be able to hook up another motor here if I wanted to at some point. I don't think I will. Uh, I don't think I'll do anything more on this bike after this. Um, what I am thinking about doing next is going and getting a golden motor 5 kilowatt version and you know, maybe 120 volts something like that uh, and playing with that alright I'll give this an update uh, give you an update on this uh, when it's lighter outside because right now it's uh, nighttime so you can see how well this thing rides and how quiet it is